Okay, so let's talk about setting up URL slugs for your Super and Notion website. All right, so this is what we're gonna get into. First and foremost, let me go to my domain. So this is my domain, davids.blog. A URL slug is when I click on one of these posts or any page within my site, everything that comes after. So this is the URL slug. If I go to this article here, this will give you the anatomy of a URL. There's the HTTPS, that's the protocol. This is a subdomain if you have it, not necessary. This is that top level domain or the domain itself. And then the top level domain here is the .com. If you have a subtopic, say for example blog or articles that would be that and then the post with super i don't see sub topics there aren't subtopics even with my database i'm not seeing subtopics so if i go back to my site technically this should be like a part of my articles because this is articles but it's not showing up that way so all good not a huge huge deal oops not that page not a huge deal and this is the slug so we're talking about number six right now optimizing number six all right so let's just go here they give you a few tips this is like a a refs they give you a few tips on how to do this keep numbers out of it remove superfluous information like the date the date doesn't need to be in it but i'm going to keep it really simple for any of your url slugs keep it as simple as possible that's basically it simple as possible boil it down to a keyword a keyword phrase something like that so let's take a look here for example we had a post with the slug basic guide anchor text when we updated this post we added a lot in for a lot of information this made the guide not so basic and we had to redirect it to a more appropriate slug so here in this case anchor text would just have been ideal versus basic guide anchor text basic guide to anchor text in this way anchor text boom simple just like to the point in the process so let's talk about it now if i go to pages you'll see here i have this sync urls on now this feature alone is really, really helpful because if you look at my sitemap, this is my sitemap, you could see here, this is what it's actually pulling, which is great, which is not, it's not the notion URLs that are funny with all these numbers and digits, it's directives or about me or answers to common questions, charity commission, fragrances, weekly newsletter, find me online now, favorite web flow trainings, all that stuff. It's actually really well set up. The only problem is, and hopefully this will get fixed soon, is to edit the URL slugs like for example, I don't like this one. This one's really long. It's for this post here because it just automatically generated it. To change it, you click these three little dots and then you hit edit page. From there, you're able to, let me pull this up. You're able to adjust it how you like and then click save. Now, the one problem is as of right now, this moment, uh, this is a beta form and it's not working, but you could see here, simple, clear. You could easily add a uh, URL slug in to adjust it and it goes to this specific page. So if I show this page, this is where it's going to take it. So, which is a really nice feature. It's really clean and easy to use. But if I go in here, read and retain, I could do like more books a year, something like this, like a more general. This is pretty long. I don't really have a keyword for it, but we could use that and then hit save. That's supposed to save it. In this case, it's not. It's not updating. I don't know if it's on because this is on. I've turned this off and tried it. Um, and I'm going to send this to the team to see what they say. But it, over time, this should work. This should work where you could go in here and adjust it. One other thing to keep in mind as you go through this process, and this is a whole new feature because this is the biggest reason I stayed away from building my site on Super is because the SEO was not, it didn't have the simplicity of use with optimization. This is much easier. The one thing I would say is you see this read, retain 50 books a year shows up again here which is a little bit odd and I'm not sure which one is which. So technically I should be deleting this page, but I also don't want to delete a page of something that is live and will delete the content. And you'll see here, it says systems of thinking blog and then systems of thinking blog tools to check out. So this page doesn't exist anymore. There's directives down here and there's directives up here. I don't know why there's two though. And I don't know why, yeah, I don't know why there's two. So it's a little bit odd on how to change it and adjust it. Let's see if there's one that, let me just do add new page. Let's see, pretty URL. Oh, I, add, I have to add the URL. Okay, so let's go in here. Oh, that's how I add a new page. That's actually way more ideal. So let's just say page 
intro sample okay and then i'm going to do public so i'm just going to copy that paste that there create page boom so it actually followed the url the way i wanted if i hit edit page a year and i just do that and it saved it saved ah that saved that's actually really nice so that might be the process i don't know if you have 50 pages you're trying to upload at one time to go through that would be very manual but just bear this in mind i'm gonna try to see what we can do to like get this to be easier to change and adjust uh and even here it doesn't give me a warning saying like oh you actually use this domain already this is auto generated so that might actually be the problem that i auto generated a lot of these and now this page here allows me to edit the domain so intro sample and then hit save yeah and it saves right away which is really nice so that is the process for url slugs uh for your site to make sure those get set up you want to make sure those are optimized as you go through so when you're on your site you could see here let me go to my actual website so right now i'm on the home page there's no url slug here if i hit read and retain you'll see it takes me here to all of this and then if i go back and i hit and i click let me actually refresh see if this new page is here it's not oh there it is intro sample if i click on that you'll see intro sample so it adjusted it right away i imagine the reason they don't let you change it is maybe because of 301 redirects they don't want to get things complicated if you don't know what that is it basically is a way for if you do change a url slug to then point the old one to the new one but they don't really have that set up at the moment so it might be a reason why it's not just automatically updating but you just want to ensure that everything has a domain for some reason communication for remote teams is showing up like this random 84 db 97 blah 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 we want to those are the things we want to look out for so i would just go back here to my site and try to find that specific article or add it in it seems like it might not actually be here so i would go to the bottom so i'd go to the bottom and click add new page and then the new url would be remote team communication and then i go back to my notion account go back and then go to communication for remote, remote teams you could hit command l i believe that copies the link but you could also go here and hit copy link and then paste that there and hit create page and that should update it so now you have remote team communication as a url which is set up that's nice and then if i click on this let me go back to my account let me see let me go back home communication for remote teams it is still showing up as the other url so there this is a new system right so there are things that are getting sorted but these are the things that would make sure and ensure that your url slugs are set up properly for your website uh, for seo purposes hey thank you for watching this video if you got value from this video hit that like button when you hit that like button it tells the youtube algorithm some important information but it also lets me know that you got value from this video and if you did get value from this video and you want more content just like this consider subscribing we publish new videos every single week friday at 1 p.m we post a new video if not multiple videos throughout the week if you have any questions drop a comment below but i will see you guys in the next video peace